Race seven, an exact door, second leg of the win four. A purse of $2,800, a minute 21 seconds for six and a half for Lons by the winner. Sweet Bo Duchess, written by Rel Samard, paid four ninety three sixty at three thirty. Solitary Lark, six thirty at five dollars. Chocolate Valley, seven ten to show. The exact door paid thirty nine dollars. Introducing the field for the eighth, the Stir Rat Stirrups Group feature: Quinella number one, Full Regalia, Oma W H Greenwood, Trainer Dale Greenwood, written by Mike McMullen. The two is Hoop Devell, owned by S E Marks, A Hendricks, trained by Gary Marks. Written by jockey Mike I. Marino. Number three, Kokono. Owned by B. Poffenroth, T. Carden. Peggy Weiss, the trainer. Very winners is the rider. Number four, Rambling Director. Owned by N. Perkin, A. Stable. Dale Saunders trains Brian Bochinski in the irons. Number five, C. On the Horizon. Owned by his trainer, Larry Matthews. Written by Mary Yurik Bay. Number six, Splendid Victory. Owned by L. W. and T. Edelman and Lacombe, trained by George Edelman, written by Mike Kwong. Number seven is Langdon, owned by Wild Rose, racing stable at Calgary, trained by Gene White in handy, Turcott. Running at the field, number eight, Ring of Love. Owned by J. Harrison of Saskatoon, trained by Rod Haynes, in hand to jockey Jim Powell. The field of eight for the eighth, running six and a half furlongs for $3,500. Most times in nine minutes. Off in the eighth, six and a half furlongs are running ahead of them. On the outside, splendid victory. Coconut between. Then on the inside, Hoop Deville joining up. Ring of Love, widest of all. Pocono surges to the front. Splendid victory, right up there to engage. Hoop Deville is third. Ring of Love is fourth. C on the horizon moves up in fifth. Six and trying to fire up his rambling director. Full Regalia is seventh, Langdon, the trailer out of the turn down the backside with a half a mile to run. Out on the lead, showing the way. Kokono, splendid victory after him. Ring of Love. Down on the inside, Hoop Deville. On the outside, three deep. That's Rambling Director putting in his run. Full Regalia behind the wall, needs room in six. Langdon moves up seven. Eight between horses, see on the horizon. Inside the quarter pull off a half and 46-4. Kokono trying to wire them, go all the way for winners. Kokono splendid victory, Hoop Deville, rambling director ranging up again. Full regalia trying to muscle his way out to find room, he's got run. Kokono, full regalia closing in. Kokono will outlast them. Race eight to Quinella, third leg of the win four. $3,500 purse, six and a half furlongs in a minute, 19 seconds. It was Perry Winters taking Kokono to the win. Paid $11.50, $7.450. For Regalia, paid $10.40 and $5.10. Splendid victory, $6 to show. The Quinella paid $35.30. Number two, Duffy B, owned by Duffy Stable Limited of Calgary, trained by Barry Brown, written by Richard Ziegler. The three horse to Sonny's Blaze, owned by Chilcotton Stud and Ranches of Cochran, trained by Don Gilkson, ridden by Marcos Mulvez. Number four, Dynamic Doc, owned by B. Shalak, J. and C. McFadgen of Edmonton, trained by Dale Saunders, ridden by Mike I. Marino. The five horse, Rock Arctic, owned by Ed and Doreen Sir Calgary, trained by Dwayne Wiseman, ridden by Robert Noda. The six is Quiet Road, owned by FAST Stable of Calgary, trained by Doug Commence, ridden by Mary Winters. Number seven, Golden Country Boy, owned by GNR Cugler Gibbons, trained by John Harisco, ridden by Brian Bochinski. Rounding at the field, the eight today, regiment owned by Brent Nall Stable, Bill Bell. JNL Columbus of Edmonton, trained by Bill Bell, ridden by Jim Powell. Field of eight to the ninth, running six and a half for long for $5,100. Most times in seven minutes. They're at the post. And they're off in the ninth, the final leg of the win four. The Sonny's place through his rider, Marcos Malvaz, at the start. Down in front of the grandstand today, Regiment. Wait's done, no one moves up. Duffy B hooks him from down on the inside. Dynamic Dock is back about three third into the turn. Quiet Road is fourth. Golden Country Boy is fifth. The Sonny's place. Going along with the field in six. Out of the turn, quarter 22 1. 
Down the backside they go. The battle is on the front today. Regiment wants it and Duffy B won't give it up. Dynamic dog chasing the speed is two and a half back yet to be called on third. Golden Country Boy starts to surge in fourth. Quiet Road is fifth. That's the sunniest blaze with no rider. Duffy B. Today Regiment. Dynamic Doc trying to avoid the loose horse. They turn for home. Duffy B. Dynamic Doc with the late rally now comes alive. Duffy B has the jump on them. Dynamic Doc is running at a track. Duffy B. Race number nine in exact door in the final leg of the win four. Purse of $5,100, a minute 18 seconds for six and one half furlongs by the winner, Duffy B. Richard Ziegler in the saddle. Paid $16.90 to win $7.20 in $4. Dynamic Dock, $3.90 at $2.80. Today, Regiment, $2.50 to show. The exact door paid $56.80. The win four returned $2,166.70. The flag is up, and they're off. A good start, and from the center, Maurice Day is showing by a head towards the inside, Highwood Wind, and from the outside, Tino Bay. Turn on top, saves ground along the inside. From the outside, here comes Fancy Blossom up to join the early leaders, Tino Bay and Maurice Day. Maurice Day leads by a nose right alongside is Tino Bay. Flancy Blossom is third a length and a half off. Towards the inside, Highwood Wind turn on top, now gains ground fifth along the fence. Heart of the matter between horses to the outside is Meadows Bend and along the inside, Tiny Buttons. And then into ninth spot for Potty Time Crystal, Flaming Donna is off by three lengths trailing the field. 22 and two, a speed duel. Maurice Day by a neck, Tino Bay on the outside. Moreste leads him into the turn. Tino Bay drops off now a length. It's Moreste opening it up by a length and a half. On the inside, Highwood Wind saves ground. On the other side, Fancy Blossom. Here comes turn on top around the term, as does Party Time Crystal. As Party Time Crystal goes very wide down the stretch, Moreste leads by four lengths and is strong. Down the lane, Moreste by three. Highwood Wind, Party Time Crystal on the far outside. Turn on top between. Maurice Day by three and a half. They'll go for second. Party time, Crystal. It's close. Race 10, a triactor and a Quinella, the last race of the day. A purse of $3,200, a minute 21 and one fifth seconds over six and a half furlongs. The winner was Brian Buczynski and Maurice Day, paid $960, $470, and $460. Party time, Crystal, $670 and $380. Highwood Wind paid $740 to show. The triactor paid $1,335.60. The Quinella was worth $4,820. And those were the races of Sunday, June 6th, from Northlands Park. This is Tim Dancy reporting.